Hey guys, um, I'm back with another video. Um, I I know it's been a while again. I really haven't been making a lot of videos about this, but I just was scrolling through comments today of my old videos, um, realizing that um, people were wondering how you guys are. You guys wondering how I'm doing this like hack and tosh stuff on my laptop? Yeah, I still have the Inspiron 3520. Um, I'm gonna go over to that in a second. Um, just thought I'd do quick video of me talking real quick I just um, figured I can help you guys out or try and help you guys out um, I'm gonna in this video I'm gonna put the uh, all the stuff in the description the drivers everything that I use personally um, all I really did was just search the internet so I just searched Google pretty much everybody knows that I mean not everybody but most people that are doing the Hackintosh stuff know how to do this but um, yeah, we're gonna go over to my laptop. I already have it set up. I'm just gonna turn it on. Um, and I saw one of the comments. One, um, I think it was one or two. Um, someone asked or said that this was Ubuntu. Um, I have no idea why. I, it's not like a skin pack or anything. It's full out OS 10 Mavericks. Um, I haven't actually used. I mean, I've used Yosemite on this laptop too. It runs perfectly fine. Um, just the upgrade process. I'll have to go over that before. I mean before of course I'll have to go over that in a different video um, I don't currently have Yosemite right now I did a fresh restore the other day of Mavericks because I needed one anyway so um, yeah let's go over to the lab um, yeah okay let's see let's turn this around I just bear with me <laughs> alright well my phone's not gonna be um it's being weird right now, so I'm gonna upload this online, and then we're gonna go over to the laptop. So, see you guys there. All right, guys. Here is oh, let's zoom in a little bit. There's the, of course, again, the Inspiron 3520. It's the same model, um, so the Core i3 processor. So, I, yep. So you can tell um, if you watch my other video, you'll be able to tell that this is the same thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna boot up again, but this time will be a different bootloader, of course. Press power button. Because I'm just using Mavericks now, I'm not boot, dual booted with Yosemite. So, you can see I have, I'm using Naresh's version, so you gotta go check him out. I'll have his, uh, the um, website to him, the channel. Uh, I think they allow that. Um, if not, it's alright. Most people, all you could do, really do is just Google his, uh, website anyway, so. Google his name. Yeah, this is, I have this booting like this just to make sure everything goes correctly. And most of the time it has. I've already, I've been running my rebooted, um, my whole new fresh installed Mavericks for about three days now. So, all's been going well. Just give it a second. It takes a little bit to boot up when you're booting verbose mode. Which for you guys that uh, don't know, it's dash V, the bootloader. Give it a second to finish booting up here. It doesn't usually take this long, but sometimes it'll take long. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends if I if anything updates, which I updated programs before. So just gotta just hit the enter key. Usually it just takes some time. It'll boot right up. I'm sorry for the uh, the flashing in the other video. I just realized going over it um, tonight, it was it's, it looked like the video was flashing a lot. So I mean, it doesn't do that on my laptop. It's just the camera. Huh, for some reason this looks like it's taking a little bit to load this time. Never took this long before. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop the video here real quick. I'm gonna, um, I'll be back once it boots up finally. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Alright, guys, we're booted up. Hope my finger's in the way there. Um, yeah, we'll boot it up. I'll, I just had to redo, reboot it once. Um, just got here right before I start recording again. Um, just gotta type my password. Yeah, 
sometimes, um, I mean, this is the first time this actually didn't boot up one time. Um, it was going to boot up. It just it needed a little bit. It was doing something with my uh, trackpad, I guess. Um, had to update something, so that's all set now. Um, Hackintoshes aren't perfect, but <laughs> most of the time they are if you do it all right. To my brightness, I mean, I'm using a brightness program here because the brightness controls you see over here on this laptop don't work with OS X. Um, but yeah, see, uh, this is re regular running. I updated again to 10.9.5, as you guys can see there. Focus that in. Yep, running 2.39 gigahertz Intel Core i3 with 6 gigs of RAM at 1600 megahertz, DDR3. Uh, as you see, i got some programs installed down there. Uh, most of them are the basic ones that come with Mavericks. I really don't add too much to the um, taskbar, whatever they call it. I forget. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. So, yeah, to prove to you guys, it's not Ubuntu. I have a couple, couple Mac-only programs on here, um, such as Final Cut Pro. Um, yeah, give it that. Open that real quick. You can see it boots up pretty well. Just updated it too, so. Yep, that's a video I was working on earlier. Um, doing something for Vine and Instagram, so. But yeah, the, um, this is only a Mac-only program, so this is not Ubuntu. It's not, n no Linux. Just to prove to you guys, yeah, I can just, yeah, and all, all the stuff works. Um, I edited a video before. I'll put my Instagram and Vine in, in the description so you guys can go check that out, see what I've done. I've only edited like one or two videos through there so far, so. Alright, cool. Close on its own. Yeah, and I, another pro, uh, Mac only program, as you see right there, it's iMovie. Can open that for you, too. Um, yeah. Go full screen. Gonna, yeah, full screen it for you guys. There you go. And as you can tell, actually, from the last video, I didn't have wi the Wi-Fi card. Um, I actually, re uh, not recently, this is maybe a three or four months ago, I bought a new um, Wi-Fi card. Um, I can, I'll can i put the link in the description for that, too. Um, it's a different Atheros card for this, but it works perfectly after um, a certain, uh, you just have to get the right text for it, text file, which I will also put. Put the website for that where you can download it. Uh, I'm figuring out helping you guys out because I know a lot of you guys have had questions. Um, the only things that still don't work are, um, of course, the brightness. So I had to get a brightness slider to adjust it. You get that from the App Store. Actually, actually guys, I do that real quick. Of course, load up the App Store. And then you would search under mine because it was on my purchases. I purchased it before. Um, yeah, right here, brightness slider. There we go. This is actually the the app right here. Um, you can search that. It's not even that much. Yeah, 0.9 megabytes. not even that bad. Um, they just updated a Yosemite for fix for that. Um, yeah, you can search it too. Brightness. If you type in brightness, it usually comes up the first one. And it bring you there. Bring you up to these two. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it's running like a normal Mac. I mean, sorry, I right click a lot randomly. Um, yeah, I mean, FaceTime works. You can open that. Um, you just have to type in your Apple ID. As you can see, it's me recording on my phone right now. Um, yeah, just in, mine's already in there, so it has my contacts. Um, at least they were in there. Let's search someone. Oh, recents. Oh, yeah, I haven't called anybody through here either, so... Yeah, it's whatever. You just got to add your contacts in there. Uh, but yeah, that works. Camera works right out of the box. Um, I mean, natively, not really out of the box. Um, the media controls work fine. You just FN. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else didn't work. Um, the sound worked perfectly. Um, I know for your OS X Yosemite, um, you have to get a... You have to redo the sound for that because the sound comes out all scratchy. It's very weird, but I can I can get you guys working on that. Um, if, yeah, you have this laptop. It's really good. The, if you get it going right, like I have it, it runs perfectly. Um, 
That's basically it. I mean, I only I don't really need to use much Kex for Mavericks to run. I mean, if you guys are willing just to run Mavericks, that's perfectly fine. It's actually really easy. Just install and put in the graphics texts, and you're all set. Um, yeah, I don't know if I had 6 gigs of RAM in my last video. Yeah, this reads mine as a Mac Pro. You can see right there. I don't know why this is early 2008, but... Probably just because I have the Intel HD 3000. Which those, I believe those Macs were like 2008, 2011. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, there's not really too much to Mac. I mean, to Hackintoshes. I mean, you, once you get them right, they're just like a regular Mac. So, yeah, um, any questions you guys have, just comment down and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Um, hey, you guys have a good day and good night. Peace.